Automatic Bar Machine Operator Training Program. Lesson number 15, Thread Rolling. This is a thread rolling attachment. The purpose of the thread rolling attachment is to make threads on outside diameters of stock by displacing material. This television training tape will show you how to correctly make bench adjustments and mount the thread rolling attachment to the New Britain automatic bar machine. Making a setup for thread rolling begins by assembling the head on the workbench. Be sure all the components are the correct size before starting this assembly. The rolls are marked with information that is used during the setup. Since the rolls are used in matched sets, the roll number must be the same. The thread size and type is also shown and should be checked to be sure they are correct. This number is a micrometer reading that will be used with the micrometer positioning gauge later in setting the thread roller. Each roll in the set is marked with either a C or a D. Both rolls are also marked with a matched line. The roll marked with a C fits into the number one arm and the D roll fits into the number two arm. Notice how the roll fits between the drive gear and the thrust bearing. These three parts are now assembled in the head. Place the thrust bearing in the lower part of the arm. Place the drive gear in the upper part of the arm. Now hold the roll in position while putting the roll pin into place. Lock the C roll into the number one arm. The flat area on the end of the roll pin should be positioned so that the set screw is holding on this surface. Position the D-roll in the number two arm in the same manner. The bench adjustment begins by loosening all four pivot stud nuts. This will allow you to move the arms to set the correct dimension. You must back off these eight set screws on the top and bottom of the head before you can proceed. The spacing between the rollers can now be set. A gauge block of the correct dimension is being used to set this distance. You must also have the white line on each arm lined up with the same graduation on the head. This adjustment ensures the arms are of equal distance from each end and centered in the head. The geared arms are tightened into position first. Turn the adjusting screw until it is in contact with the arm. Then tighten the arm locking screw. Follow the same procedure for the other geared arm. The solid arms can now be positioned. Loosen the set screws on the roll pin and move the solid arm until the roll pin will slide freely. This aligns the two arms. Now turn the solid arm adjusting screw down until it contacts the arm. Tighten the locking screw. The same procedure is used on the other arm. The set screw is again tightened on the flat surface of the roller pin. Tighten these two pivot stud nuts first. Then the other two. Now check the rolls to be sure they turn freely. Now using the match lines we can match the rolls for proper position. Remove the D roll. Rotate the C-roll until the match line is pointing to the center line of the roll pins. The D-roll should now be held with the match line pointing towards the C-roll. Now without rotating the roll, the drive gear can be aligned to the roll. Remove the roll and hold the gear in the same position while placing it back in the arm.
the roll can now be returned and the roll pin placed in position. You may have to remove the roll and turn the gear a few teeth further to get a match. Proper matching of the rolls is important to good thread rolling. Tighten the set screw against the flat surface of the roll pin. This completes the assembly of the head. Final matching of the rolls is done by loosening the locking screw and then rotating the micrometer matching screw. Hold one roll and push inward on the other roll during this adjustment. When properly adjusted, the match lines on the rolls will be in direct alignment with each other and on the center line of the rolls. After the adjustment is finished, tighten the locking screw. This completes the bench adjustment of the thread rolling attachment. The machine setup begins by installing a special cam on the cross slide for the thread rolling operation. This cam is designed to produce a short controlled working cycle with zero dwell and an instant rapid return. Check the part to be sure it has been shaved to the correct size. Oversized parts can break the thread rolls. Now you mount the thread roll adapter to the cross slide. You are now ready to align the head to the part. Mount the thread roll head. Unlock the locking nut and turn the adjusting screw to get the proper position on the part. Then lock the locking nut. Remove the thread rolling head. Adjust the feet adjusting screw to bring the thread roller adapter all the way back from the piece. Hand crank the machine to the high point of the thread roll cam. Next, Set the micrometer positioning gauge to match the number on the rolls. In this case, 449 thousandths. Insert the gauge into the adapter and tighten the holding screws. Adjust for proper feed by advancing the feed adjustment screw to cause the gauge to contact the center line of the blank. Dial in the gauge to remove it. Lock down the screws. The depth is now set. This will bring the thread rolls just over the center line of the blank. Hand crank the machine back. Insert the thread roller head and tighten the holding screws. Run apart and check it against your layout sheet. As with other setups, final adjustments will normally be required to produce the high quality threads needed to meet part specifications. This completes the television training tape on the thread rolling attachment. You may watch this tape as many times as you need. When you are finished, return to the operator booklet for your next step.